What's up everybody, Retro Django here. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this beautiful Commodore 64C and the different power supply unit solutions. Before we start the video, we wanna thank PCBWay for sponsoring this video and say congratulations for their ninth birthday. Guys, go in and check PCBWay.com. They have discounts, they have so many great stuff for our old computers and great prices. They have shared projects. You can go in and pick a lot of great stuff for your Commodore 64. As you can see, I let them build Kung Fu flash card to me. Fast build, perfect quality, and it just works. I, I love PCB way. And other than that, you can, of course, send in your DIY projects, let them build everything, or send you a PCB board. I, I love this company, so thank you, PCB Way. Now, usually, when we buy Commodore 64s in Denmark, in Europe, if we buy the C model, this newer model, we will get this brick of Commodore 64 PSU. As you can see, this one is actually brand new, old stock. <laughs> this one was made back in 1988, October, and they look like this. And I'm telling you, if you want to use an old PSU like this, this one has a uh, fuse here, and I'm sure that there are some other versions without the fuse. But if you want to use something like this, old PSU, then I really, really recommend you to buy something like this that has some sort of over voltage protection in it. It's, it's a must today because these old 40 year old PSUs, they can give a glitch when you turn them on or while using your Commodore 64 and it will go in and fry your old custom chips. That will be really sad. So be careful when you're using these old PSUs. You can also, if you buy the old bread bin version, the seller can say, well, it was fine when I packed it 30 years ago. They're brown and they're cut down like this with this triangular shape. I never use them because if I wanted to use something like this before I got these beautiful voltage protectors from Axel 81L on eBay, thank you for sending me this Axel. Um, I tend to take my voltmeter and test for 5 volt, make sure that it's 5 and not 6.23 or something like that. Um, and I actually threw out a lot of these uh, triangular old versions for the bread bin because they were glitchy. Some some of them had four point something volts. Some of them had you know they, they they glitched and they have epoxy inside. So it's a mess, guys. And I have a friend that uh, built some uh, builds new PSUs. Uh, most of them I just donated donated to him. I. I don't use them and if you have one of those those if you want to use them get a over voltage protector for them okay and some of these ads where people says hi i just found my commodore 64 i uh, it was packed since 1989 i don't have the uh, the antenna cable for my new flat screen tv but i inserted the old psu Gave it some power and the power LED turned on so the computer works fine. Here you can buy it for 150 euros. Guys, be careful because if they just unpacked their Commodore 64 with this brick and just gave it some power and make sure that this LED was lighted and no picture, test before buy because before I started this YouTube channel, I just, wow, man, it has just been on storage. It has this red LED screen here, but it has this red LED and I bought it. I got it home, turned it on, got the cable and it was just a black screen and RAM was fried, seat chip was fried. And it was just dead, man. So be careful. So PSU solutions, this one, again, if you have it, use it with an over voltage protector, okay? That's a must, trust me. If you don't want that, we have got 
a solution like this. I got sent this one from Commodore64.com. Uh, thank you guys also. Uh, I really like this one. I think this costs um, this 30 euros or something like that. I love it because it's new, of course. <laughs> it gives quality power. But the cool part is when I want to use my 1541 floppy disk drive, I don't want to use their old PSUs. This one had a cable included, so it gives power to the Commodore 64. But also, as you can see, this is the uh, this is the plug. This, it has got normal Commodore 64 plug, and it has got on and off switch. As you can see, now it's off, so all the LEDs will turn off in a second. There we go, they're off, and the over voltage protector LED is off also. This is from XL81L from eBay also, and when I power it on, bam, as you can see, green, it's okay to plug this. You can test it like this, if you want to use this old PSU, you can test it like this. If it gives a green light, then you're ready to go, just like this one. If it gives a green light, then you're ready to go. If it gives, as you can see, yellow or red, uh-oh, you can see yellow on, protection in progress. Red light, PSU breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, this is so cool, man. So yeah, another cool um, solution, and I'm making this video to let everybody know that protect your Commodore 64. They're so old, so let's preserve them. But in this video, we're gonna talk about this Commodore 64. Why is it so cool for me? That's because this is the latest one, man. This is the newest Commodore 64. It came, if I can lift this one up it, without damaging anything, I have to be careful now, two seconds guys, yes I can, let me see here, if we look down here, look at this beauty, no screw holes, no nothing, it has got this little plastic flap, you just push it, it has got three of them, you just bent them, one here, one in the middle and one there, you just bent them back, and lift the hood up, no screws, no nothing. That was the latest release from Commodore. Really nice, so this one will have the short board inside with the 8580 newest version um, SID chip inside. And um, this is how it sounds. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. computer but with this one I got this PSU now I know PSU is looking like this or the triangular one brown ones but this one is the first time for me absolutely first time uh, and before I plugged it in as you can see I used this one made sure uh, I didn't measure usually I always always measure these but now having these I don't use time on measuring it I just put this one on first and if it's green then I insert it to my Commodore 64 and turned it on okay <laughs> so this one will light up before entering the Commodore 64 plug I love it man but this PSU let's take a look at this one because this is new for me <laughs> as you can see up top now it's not clean no nothing okay uh, I know after an hour these one gets hot these old ones also the older ones they get really really hot this one has been turned on and it has been pumping out music sit tunes this morning and it's not hot it's beautiful it has got these little cooling vents I don't know who when what and why and it has got these cooling vents down at the bottom. It's compared to the original, uh, not original, but compared to this, you can see it's just, it's just a closed system and no hotness can come out of it. But this PSU, this old PSU gives quality power and it doesn't get hot. I mean, 
Have you seen one of these before with these cooling vents? It's awesome, man. Look at this. Let's look at the bottom down here. A T40 power supply. The Type C C64 UP Cap 1025. Yeah. Very, very cool PSU. So, this video is all about taking good care of our old Commodore 64s, giving them some quality power, make sure not to burn the old ICs inside, guys. So I hope you learned something today, and I hope you will take good care of your Commodore 64s with all these great, great solutions. And let's end this video with a great sit tune coming out from this Commodore 64 Model C that has got the 8586 chip. Uh, some people like the um, 6581, others like this newer one. So let's enter a sit player and check out a song together. <laughs> So we have inserted the Kung Fu Flash cartridge in the Commodore 64. As you can see, we'll get this menu. We have CRT games, we have SIT music. No, no wait, wait, let's turn. CRT, okay. So you can put in your CRT games in this beautiful cartridge and you can go down and say Batman the movie from 1989 and it's on 168k you can see we have 8k cartridge so this cartridge is a huge huge cartridge okay we press here and it will say just enter please do not power off because it is flashing the memory okay and that's it now this oh it's so cool Now this program is inside, it is flashed in here, so if we want to reset or even turn off the Commodore 64 with the cartridge inserted, when I turn it on, it won't go to a menu, it will just, it is flashed and it's ready to go, and it's just so cool, I love this cartridge, okay, I love it. Um, pressing start the game and the game will load or the demo, or the program, or whatever you, you have inserted. It's just so simple. So awesome, guys. So, let's go in and see, uh, what was it? That was a CRT file. You can go into uh, D64 file. We have Bruce Lee or Super Mario Brothers. No, no, what should we go for? Let's check Super Mario. Oh, I think it's this one. And now it is, look, as you can see, start game. As you can see, now it's loading D64 disk files from the Kung Fu Flash and bam, we have got Super Mario <laughs> for the Commodore 64. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So yeah, D D64 files also works. Let's go in, go out up here and PRG files. Let's go down to something. Rainbow first blood. There we go. This is a PRG file. Okay, this is the third file we're testing with the Compu Flash cartridge. And as you can see, cracked by Mr. Z. And there we go. It just works how cool is that whoa rambo did you see the loading speed it's it's beautiful i really like that kung fu flash cartridge guys and it's it's so cheap uh if you want to buy it i i i asked pcbway.com to build these for me and i have actually re reviewed whoa. Reviewed the cards, uh, 
in-depth review where I tested a lot of more stuff, but it's awesome, guys. Oh, it's so cool. But one thing I'm missing on this cartridge compared to the 1541 Ultimate is the built-in seat tune player. I love Commodore 64 music, but with this one we have got Sit Play 64 included, and you just this is a program file again. You just run it and you just press enter, blah blah blah, and you have got your different um, sit tunes, and you just go down to something you want to hear. Crack out Cro Cobra He Man. Let's try Cobra. And you just press int enter, and there we go. It just loads the song and Cobra from Ben Banglish from 1986. Isn't it awesome? It just works, man. So you have your own synth player like this, this beautiful program, and it and I love it, man. I love it. IK Plus. Oh yes! It's so cool! You can press number two. Oh, you can change the colors, but that's at the beginning. But as you can see, it just works great, guys. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, our time! <gasps> I love this too! Chris Hulsbeck, I mean, 1988. It's so cool. I love it, man. I love it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. I heard, oh, I hope you learned something. This fuse is just a fuse for the PSU. It's not safe to use it. <laughs> oh, it's so cool, man. I love it. Have a great day out there. Go out and enjoy your Commodore 64 sit tunes, man. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Bye!